Resistant and flexible, polyester is a two-pack system in which a polyester resin is mixed with a catalyst, which is applied over chopped strand matting. Flexible polyesters can be used on both domestic and commercial roofs, with the greater demand currently being from the domestic market. They provide the benefit of being extremely durable, quick curing and flexible. Although there are many advantages to using liquid waterproofing, it's important to be aware of the differences in application on site. These include the application temperature, which may affect curing rates, so refer to manufacturer guidelines. The amount of substrate preparation to guarantee a full bond, with a primer possibly being needed. The requirements to complete a cosh assessment, such as PPE, handling requirements and unfamiliar smells, which should be checked by referring to the manufacturer's material safety data sheet. And the disposal of used packaging, with manufacturers consulted for their recommendations on recycling and disposal. In terms of PPE, you need to wear gloves, safety glasses and all other safety equipment relevant to the site where you're working. The tools required include a grinder or saw for cutting GRP, rollers, a hammer, knife, sanding paper and 450 gram chopped strand matting. As with all liquid systems, apply the details first. When fixing the plywood roof base, leave a 15mm gap between it and any walls. Apply preformed GRP fillet trims to the perimeter and nail them at 125mm centres to the plywood. Mitre both internal and external corners. Next, seal any joints in the fillet trims or between the plywood sheets. To do this, mix polyester resin and its catalyst to form the base coat. As the resin sets within 20 minutes, or possibly sooner, depending on ambient temperatures, it's best to mix smaller quantities for the details. Where there are joints in the GRP fillet trims, apply 75mm wide chopped strand reinforcement. Allow the matting to soften, and then use a metal paddle roller to remove any air and to roll it flat. The plywood in the main areas should be fixed with a gap of 3mm between sheets, so apply a 75mm wide section of matting using resin and a paddle roller. Fix reinforcement around any pipe or steelwork penetration and then prepare the base coat to the main area. To do this, apply the chopped strand matting in two halves, applying resin to the roof at a rate of 1 litre per metre squared and use the roller to bed the matting into the resin base coat. As the matting softens, use the metal paddle roller to flatten the reinforcement, at which point the surface will become transparent. Apply a 75mm lap to the matting and leave the resin to cure for between 20 to 30 minutes. When using GRP, be weather aware, as any rain falling before the base coat has cured can cause problems. After 30 minutes, check that the base coat has cured and carry out any snagging, checking for wicks and sand any edges or corners lightly. As the base coat is transparent, the top coat requires a pigment to be added to the resin and catalyst and mixed by hand to reduce the build-up of heat. The top coat is then applied at 0.6 litres per square metre over the details and the main area. If problems occur and you delay applying the top coat promptly, you'll need to apply an acetone wipe after two days due to the build-up of dirt. If you can't apply the top coat for five days, you'll need to grind down the resin to the strand mat, so only start applying the base coat when you're sure you can apply the top coat promptly.